You know, when I made this ricotta earlier this week, we all literally just finished the entire batch in one sitting because it was just that good and so fresh. And this ricotta is going to be lactose free. And I'm making it this way because I've found that just finding lactose free ricotta in the store is almost impossible. I have never seen it. I looked at all these various brands and it just seems impossible to find. All you need is lactose free milk to get lactose free ricotta. And this one, it's just so simple and doesn't have any of the additives that you may find in some of the more generic or common brands. But then there are some other brands like Crestel, not sponsored, that do have pretty small ingredient lists. With that, let's get started and make this by ourselves. So the acid we're using is lemon juice, as you can see in the ingredients list, which is linked down below. And we're gonna first start by adding in all that milk in a large stock pot. Now in this pot, you wanna turn the heat up to about medium low to medium. Just keep an eye on it, keep stirring the bottom of that milk. Make sure nothing gets stuck and burnt on because that's gonna be unpleasant. And then once that is steaming, that's when you add in your acid. Now the milk will start to curdle, add in your salt, and then just keep mixing, keep warming it up until most of the curds have separated. So you're gonna have a really high ratio and uh, you'll feel when there's lots of thin liquid from the milk. Now that's the perfect time for you to strain it and just collect all those curds through a cheesecloth that's just set over a sieve. You can reuse the liquid um, to make rice or you can put it in like a soup. It's gonna be full of flavor, but that cheese, that's your main ricotta. And the longer that you let that ricotta drain, well, the drier the ricotta would be. So for something like um, topping on a pizza, you might prefer that. But let's say you're making whipped ricotta, to again, put on a pizza, maybe in a lasagna, well, then you want it to be a bit softer. And just the ratio of the water and the actual cheese part is what decides how creamy or dry it's going to be. Now making cheese at home is a lot of fun and the next thing I wanna make is mozzarella. I'm looking for the proper enzyme, the Rene stuff that you need to actually make it, but if you know what the best tips are or if you know what other cheese I should try next, then let me know down below. Now, when I did have this in one sitting earlier this week, I did have it with a really simple, salty and a bit sweet tomato chutney and that's kind of linked down below. It's like a mix of Indian and I guess Italian cheese over here, but it's just so damn good. And of course, thank you to all the channel members. I really appreciate your constant support. I'll see you in the next one.